All right, all right. Hey, hey guys. Let's see, I'm gonna wait for some people to get on. While I do that, put my chapstick on, can't have dry lips. All right, there we go. Hey, hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Just drop in the comments a wave or a hey. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. How's everybody doing? Uh, today, if you missed what the topic is, it is going to be about beauty cloud. All right, so let's see. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what Beauty Cloud is, is it's an influencer marketing uh, platform that connects beauty influencers with beauty brands, right? Um, so we all have some sort of business in the hair industry, the beauty industry. And I know a lot of people have been asking about how can I get brand ambassadors? How can I utilize influencers? And so we have this platform that is going to help you accomplish that. Um, now, I mentioned yesterday that I'll be coming on and doing um, a lot more videos. So in the future, I'll have our uh, community manager for Beauty Cloud on uh, live and we'll do like a Q&A session and she'll go into depth a little bit more about Beauty Cloud, some of the um, plugins that are, are, are available on Beauty Cloud, um, how to reach out to influencers, the type of different influencers we have. So we'll have an actual session on Beauty Cloud. So I know you guys will be interested in that as well. Um, but for today, welcome everybody who is just joining. Welcome to everybody who's already joined. If you're watching the replay, hey. Um, all right, so we are gonna go ahead and get started. So I kind of gave you a background on what Beauty Cloud is. Um, influencer marketing is very big right now in, in the hair industry. Um, honestly, in any industry, influencer marketing is really taking over. Um, there are a lot of big brands who have built their brands strictly on influencer marketing. If you guys have studied or um, did some research on Fashion Nova, that was actually one of the really big companies and they took advantage of influencer marketing and they are killing the game right now in the fashion industry. Um, you know, on with influencer marketing. So it's a really great tool to use for sure. Um, so I want to walk through and show you guys how to use the new gig option on Beauty Cloud. So for the people who have already hired an influencer on Beauty Cloud, we do have some upgrades to it. So you'll get to see that um, right here in a second. For the people who haven't used Beauty Cloud yet, Welcome, because we'll go through how to hire your first influencer. Um, and it's fairly easy. It's very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, here we are right here. So I am going to go here. Okay, so the first thing you are going to want to do is go to beautycloud.com right here. So you are going to go to log in. You are the brand. So what you will want to do is um, log in, put your login credentials here. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually log in. Okay, so you see here I'm logged in. And so this is uh, the back end. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to the left, the dashboard over here on the left, and you're going to click on gigs, right? Um, 
So browse gigs is a new option that we have. So when you browse the gigs, it kind of already gives you an idea of who would be really great. If you have a budget, you can see here that they already have pricing on it and they're, they're telling you exactly what they would need, right? Um, so here, the staff picks. These are people who our community manager has gone through, embedded, and um, they're very popular on here. They have the reviews. So those are going to be your staff picks, right? Those are influencers who have been doing this for a while now. And I'm going to go back and forth just to see if we have any uh, comments or if people have any questions. Okay. So here we go. So we can go through here. Um, we've hired her before. We've done a, a few campaigns with her before. But let's just say our budget is 50 bucks, right? So there are tons of pages here that you can go through and see influencers who are doing exactly what it is you need. So we're going to go here and um, Taylor Parada, right? So my budget is 50, 50 bucks. I don't want to spend anything more than $50 for this particular gig. So I'm going to go ahead and click Taylor. And then you'll see over here for an Instagram post, she has 22,000 followers. For an Instagram post, it's 50 bucks. Um, if you want her to share an Instagram story, you have the option to click here too. So this is a really cool feature because it's basically giving you that extra step if you wanna go ahead and, and, um, want, and you want her to add to her story as well. It's easy one click button. So click here if you wanted to add that. For this one, we're just gonna stick with the Instagram post. And you see here, there are a ton of photos. Um, I'm asking her to wear, we're going to do a pair of lashes. So you see here, her photos have been amazing um, here for lashes, right? So she's wearing lashes. Uh, she does beauty. So I'm going to go down here. I create content such as product shots, makeup tutorials, and reviews. So she does makeup tutorials. I have a pair of lashes I want her to wear. She's perfect for this gig, right? Um, and then it tells us when she was last online, when she joined, how many followers she has, and then you can actually click here and it will take you to her Instagram. So that's, that's really cool too. You don't have to open up another tab. Um, we see here, she's really big on makeup. Um, if we click on one of her posts, and we have to log in. But if you see how many. Expect when she does a post. With this pair of lashes, right? So it's fairly good. So we go back here to Beauty Cloud. And um, we see she's really good. Exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And so here briefly discuss would you what you would like this influencer to do to do. Um, so I'm going to just send her a quick message. Uh, we love for you to rock a pair of our 3D mink lashes to share with your audience. Okay. And so the second question asks, is this a product review? Um, so if you have a Shopify store, the great thing about Beauty Cloud is it now integrates with Shopify. So what you're able to do is um, we're sending this influencer product. So we're going to go ahead and click this button. And I'm going to go back just to see if we have any questions um, in the comments. No questions. Perfect. OK. So we're going to go back here. So I intend to send this person product. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to type in 3D mink lashes and then click the search bar. And so all of the lashes uh, pop up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Ella 3D mink lashes. And we are going to make sure that if you do have a product that you chose that has different variants, you want to make sure you click um, the variant here so that it only chooses one. So we're going to send her one pair of the Ella mink lashes. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to payment. All right. So the cool thing about um, the payments with Beauty Cloud is once you pay your um, influencer doesn't get the full amount just yet. The money is held in escrow 
until um, they actually deliver the deliverables. OK, so that's what this here is telling you right here. Um, your payment to Taylor will then be held in Beauty Cloud escrow until the assignment is complete. So the influence is paid once you mark the proposal completed. So once the influencer um, sends you the deliverables and you look through and you say, wow, this is perfect. This is what I've been um, looking for. Then you will go ahead and mark the proposal complete. And then Beauty Cloud will release the payment to your influencer. OK, so right here. We're here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use existing payment method and we're going to click. We are going to click process payment. Okay, so this message comes up. Awesome. Your order number, you'll get your order number. Your charge was authorized, not captured. Again, um, that means that the funds are in escrow. Um, if the influencer does not approve your order within seven days, the charge will expire. All right. So um, it comes back here. So then here we have our dashboard. So order number 10, this is the content creator. It tells you up here what the charge was for. Um, what products they're going to be sending. Um, the cool thing about this is that once you actually uh, place the order, since your store is integrated um, with Beauty Cloud on your Shopify, it creates an order for you in your store. That way it's easier when it comes to shipping. So this is the back end and you'll see here um, again her profile. This is what you paid, the date it was submitted. It's pending right now. Um, and I sent her a little message here on what exactly we're looking for um, here. If you would like to send a message as well, um, you can. I'm just going to send her a message and say, hey, Taylor, we look forward to working with you. Excited to see some content. I'm going to go ahead and send to her. And then you see here um, order activity. So the, the good thing about this gig space down here is it actually keeps you updated with what's going on. So um, once she actually accepts the proposal, you'll see that when she returns it, you'll see that. Um, so all of this is up here. So this is how you use the the new gig feature, the browse gigs. Uh, so we can go back here and you guys can kind of see um, if you're looking for. Facebook, Facebook gigs, you'll see here, these are people who focus on Facebook, pricing here, um, people who focus on Instagram, stories, Twitter, and YouTube. So if you're more of a person who wants someone to do like a haul with your products, or you're looking for someone to do a YouTube review, or maybe a tutorial utilizing a wig, installing a wig, or um, doing a sewing or creating a quick weave, you may go here to YouTube and say, I want to find someone who would be interested in doing that. Um, and then you see here, unboxing your order and a tutorial for 20 bucks. That's really good. She has 4.6K um, subscribers on YouTube. Um, so that's awesome as well. Hauls, promoting your brand, pricing here. So all of these gigs are available to you. So that's the, the great thing about um, browse gig. You don't necessarily have to start from scratch creating an order. Um, you can just look here and kind of see what's available to you. So this is the whole purpose of hiring influencers quickly. So I want to go back here and see if there are any questions. Let's see. Questions or comments. So let's see, I want to go back over to over to Beauty Cloud. All right. So over here back on Beauty Cloud. So we're in the back end here. And if you're looking to see what type of influencers are available, then you can go here to the influencers tab. And then you'll see down here all of these different influencers here. And so the reason why we came up with the browse gigs is because um, you, it can get a little overwhelming going through 16,573 influencers here on Beauty Cloud. Um, it can just get really uh, overwhelming doing that. So if you have a specific influencer who you've used before and maybe you want to see 
Um, if they're available, you could always search them here. If you have a social media handle keyword, um, maybe you're looking for a specific beauty influencer. So you type in beauty um, and it kind of brings up all of these different beauty influencers. And there's pages and pages of influencers here on Beauty Cloud. So if you're looking for a brand ambassador or if you're looking for um, a brand ambassador or an influencer for like one off sessions, then I would definitely recommend by searching the influencers and utilizing the browse gig. I mean, it's like the easiest thing on the planet. Um, so we'll go back here and I will open it up for questions and answers. Mona, this is super helpful for starting to really promote my brand. Thanks. You are welcome. Thank you for uh, sharing with us. Um, so yeah, guys, here's the thing. When it comes to, I know I have seen literally a ton of questions in the group about brand ambassadors. Um, what should you expect from a brand ambassador? Literally, Beauty Cloud has created the system for you so that you don't have to go searching and negotiating um, with people. You know, if you get an influencer and you're scared, maybe they're not going to deliver the projects for you or um, you find someone just randomly online. Beauty Cloud really helps to hold the influencer accountable. Again, how we talked about um, it holds the money in escrow for you until and, and it won't release the funds until you actually accept the um, deliverables that were sent and you confirm it. Right. So um, that's another great reason why it's important to utilize an influencer platform like Beauty Cloud. That way you're protected, especially being a new brand. Um, who may not have that big of a marketing budget or a budget, you know, to hire different influencers. Um, you want to utilize a reputable company for that. Um, another question that I remember receiving before was about uh, brand ambassador contracts. I think that it is very important um, that you do, you know, if you're utilizing a brand ambassador, someone ongoing, that you do create a contract. Um, and we do have a contract template available for you in the Starter Hair Business Group. So if you go to um, this new Facebook, I personally don't really like it. Um, so I always switch back to the classic. But if you're on the old classic version and you look to the left of the Facebook group, you will see a button that says files. So if you click files and then click on the brand ambassador contract, you can see the template that we provided for you. And then, of course, you can go in and edit the template um, if you want to, you know, add your own information in there. If you have some some uh, key things that you want to highlight, you would change that as well. But it's just a starting template, starting point for you all to use. So if you have questions about the uh, brand ambassador contract, go ahead and just download it from the files of the group. OK, um, another thing I know some people had questions about. Um, well, let's see. I'll answer this next question. At what point in the process of growing my business should I be looking for a brand ambassador? Um, so there's actually a difference between if you're utilizing an influencer and a brand ambassador. They're kind of similar, but they're a little different. So a brand ambassador is more so someone who you bring on to the business who is a part of the business, literally maybe a face for the business. That's somebody who is going to be out um, promoting your brand, uh, wearing the hair extensions. Sometimes when you have brand ambassadors, you do work out um, incentives with them. So it may be something where you say, OK, for every sale that you make utilizing your specific code, you'll get a five dollar or a ten dollar kickback. Right. So a brand ambassador is someone that you utilize more a long term. That's what the term is. Um, I would recommend starting off, especially if you're just getting started um, and, and you don't want to offer um, kickbacks or you don't want to have like the same person being a brand ambassador. I would recommend getting some influencers and you can utilize micro influencers or macro influencers. And the difference between those two are a micro influencer is someone who may have a thousand followers or five thousand followers, probably anything up to twenty thousand followers is going to be a micro influencer. Um, a macro influ influencer is going to be a macro influencer is going to be uh, someone that has over twenty k followers or up there around fifty k, a hundred k followers. That is a macro influencer. Um, so if you want to stick between, I know when we first started utilizing, excuse me, influencers. 
um, we started off with a ton of micro influencers. So we sent out literally a ton of lashes to, to micro influencers. And when you think about it, if you have 10 micro influencers whose reach is about 10 K now your product is in front of that many more people, right? So you don't necessarily always have to go for the macro influencers because it can get a little more expensive that route. Um, so starting off, I would recommend going through Beauty Cloud. Uh, Mona, if your website is on Shopify, of course, it's integrated. If not, you can still create a gig on Beauty Cloud. So I would go in there and uh, look at a gig, find someone who's in your price range. So if you say, hey, this month, I want to spend $100 on influencer marketing. So maybe you find four people who are offering uh, posts or um, tutorials for 25 bucks, right? And then you start your four gigs. Maybe you don't do them back to back, but maybe you say, okay, each week of the month, I'll have one influencer. Um, and then you have your deliverable dates. And then you can utilize four different um, influencers. That way, your product is getting in front of a ton more people versus utilizing one brand ambassador um, and, you know, their reach is only so far. So I definitely recommend um, once you get started, you have your website up and running, your social media is on point and you're being consistent with your social media. I would recommend to go ahead and start um, looking at some influencers that you can um, bring in and start utilizing. Right. And so remember, the budget doesn't have to be that big. We just went through um, Beauty Cloud and you saw some uh, gigs that were available for 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 25 bucks. So it doesn't have to be anything um, really extravagant. Right. Sounds good. Awesome. OK. Any other questions, 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 questions? Um, oh, and so a, a point back to the brand ambassador. Um, once you have, you know, um, your company kind of up and running and you want to bring on a, a brand ambassador that will be that face of the company for you, um, you could do that as well. But I would definitely recommend if you're in the stages of um, still boots on the ground and you're looking to get the word out there, I would recommend utilizing um, micro influencers and macro influencers to start sending out products to. And I would use different ones and you can hire the same one, you know, a second time. We have influencers who we've used on Beauty Cloud that we've hired multiple times um, to do several posts. And that is from the insights that we received after they did their first post. So um, that first part posts may have gone really well. Um, we may have gotten like a thousand comments and maybe um, 5,000 likes on it, um, but people were actually purchasing the lashes, right? We were gaining followers and gaining orders as well. So if you have um, a post that does really well and you wanna go back to that influencer and say, hey, you know, we wanna hire you again for another gig, that last one went awesome. And then maybe you try a different product. So maybe the first time you tried uh, one, one specific pair of lashes, maybe it was the faux lashes. And this time you wanna go and try the 3D um, 25 millimeter lashes, then that would be an option as well, or the edge control or um, an edge brush with the edge control. You know, so there's a ton of different things that you can utilize for the gigs. Um, Another good option is I know I've heard people say hair is way too expensive to do influencer marketing with right now. They don't have the budget for it. Um, but how we talked about the other little products are really good. So if you start off with uh, lashes, there are over 50 styles of lashes um, that you can choose from there. There's a ton. So you can start off with lashes. Uh, like we just said, the edge control, edge brush. We have the lash paste now. Um, the wig grip bands, if someone already has a wig and you want to send them a wig grip band because they, they love wearing wigs, um, you can send those. The lace paste, um, that's something small that you could send as well. Um, if you wanted to utilize clip-ins, you can send clip-ins, you know, really anything. And then um, if you think about it, uh, if you have a good influencer who is doing bundles and you know that you'll receive a return on your investment, um, you know, giving a few short bundles maybe and saying, hey, um, can you do a bob with this and then do a tutorial on YouTube? So um, it's it's really good to actually do some research on the influencers when you're on Beauty Cloud. So when you go to their profiles, you just kind of see, OK, what type of other 
um, companies have they worked with? What type of engagement are they getting? The key is you want to make sure you find an influencer who can do lifestyle shots, right? You don't want them to just take a photo of the lashes and post it on their page um, because it may not get that much engagement. You want to make sure um, that you communicate to them. You want something that's more lifestyle. So you want a photo like the young lady we just hired on here for the lashes. She had a lot of lifestyle shots where she did her makeup. She had the lashes on. People love content like that. So you want to make sure that um, you're utilizing those. All right. Let's see. Okay. Any other questions? That was a good question, Mona. Thank you. Any other questions? Um, does anyone need any feedback maybe on a gig that they created um, that maybe didn't do too well? I think I want to walk you guys through uh, some more stuff on Beauty Cloud as well. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Beauty Cloud. Okay, we're up here. So back to Beauty Cloud and in the back end as well, you'll see on this side, you have your dashboard, your campaigns. We just went over the gigs utilizing the, the new browse gigs um, option. But here, if you wanted to just create a campaign and invite influencers, influencers, I said influencers. If you wanted to invite influencers, you would just go here to campaigns. Um, we don't have any campaigns live right now. However, um, show you guys these okay so you go to campaigns you'll see here when you create the campaign um we put what the budget is so the budget is between 25 and 100 bucks so how we just talked about before if you're just starting off and you say hey i want to stick with a hundred dollar marketing budget for the month of let's say november coming up right so you'll say my budget is you could change this um to any one of these but we say the budget is between 25 and 100 bucks um, campaign description, looking for bloggers to review our 25 millimeter lashes. Our team will send you a few pairs to include in a blog post or create a blog post around the lashes. Um, so this is good as well when, when we talk about, I'm actually going to do another video on um, blogging and SEO to give you guys a better understanding of what all of that is. Um, but we did have some bloggers or influencers do some blog posts centered around lashes. Um, here, so your campaign description is what exactly we're looking for. The product description, they're 25 millimeter lashes by private label. And then um, product website URL, we want to send them directly here. And then we want to give them a submission date, right? So always think about if if you say, okay, I want to have one influencer, influencer week and this is for the month of November and October in 25th, let's say, we start finding the influencers and we get someone rolling, um, we would put here, submission deadline would be November 1st. That'll be our first week influencer, give them a week. And that week while the first influencer is going, then you'll start reaching out to that second one and start preparing for the second week. So you wanna make sure you have a submission deadline here. And then you would go down here and look at the proposal. So you can either invite influencers to your campaign or of course, the influencers who are on the platform, they can send you over a proposal. So we had we had five people um, send proposals over. And then here, it'll show you who you hired, if the work was completed, was it verified, canceled, or rejected, right? Um, and these are all proposals proposed. So that's the back end of the campaigns. All right. So we'll go back here. So um, I don't want to share too, too much about Beauty Cloud because I do want to bring on our community manager to um, give you guys a ton of more information. We'll have some fun, um, do a little interview and um, get you guys ready to start hiring some influencers. So let me know if you have questions. Um, I will stick around for about one or two more minutes just to see if anybody has any questions that I can answer um, before we log off. And then um, also we put a post in the group, but make sure if you guys have any topic ideas, what you need to know, what you want to learn, 
Um, if you're struggling with something in your business, please let us know because we are going to create the tools and the resources for you um, and start getting some more content to put out um, so that you can get some answers and get the ball rolling. So I want to know what type of topics are you guys looking for? What type of tutorials do you need? Um, any people that you want to see on here? Let me know so we can deliver. All right. So you guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and I will see you soon.